Hi, and welcome to Cosmic Consciousness with Cassia. On this channel, we discuss all aspects of the ascension process. I have a variety of services that I offer to assist in your awakening journey, and you can find those listed in the description box below. Today, we're going to be doing the daily reading for Thursday, March 4th, 2021. And today is a day that's ruled by the throat chakra and guided by free will. And the galactic signature of today is the yellow lunar star energy or the yellow lunar sun energy rather and so the yellow sun energy is all about enlightenment universal fire and life force and so it's really honoring that universal fire today honoring the sun and the fact that the sun brings us life the sun also brings us wisdom it brings us light codes it brings us healing and so really communing with the sun today is a beautiful way to take advantage of this energy and not just the outer sun but our inner sun right which is our life force it is our light it is our divinity so really tapping into that today as well and tapping into the space of enlightenment which is the space of emptiness when we can empty our minds when we can empty our being right when we can empty all of the all of the ego constructs sort of siphon all of that away release all of that and step into that void step into that emptiness step into that space where everything resides we can be begin to achieve enlightenment and with the lunar tone today, which is all about challenge, it's really all the ways that we are, we are being C H A L L E N G. Uh, you know, you guys know what I'm trying to say. The spelling thing really gets <laughs> it really gets irritating sometimes. Thank you everyone for bearing with me. Um, I think it is working though because I haven't had any issues since I started spelling things out. So. Um, that lunar tone is really asking us to to look at. Any, any obstacles in our path, any C-H-A-L-L-E-N-G-E-S's as opportunities to achieve a deeper level of enlightenment. And the affirmation for today is, I polarize in order to enlighten stabilizing life. I seal the matrix of universal fire with the lunar tone of C-H-A-L-L-E-N-G-E. -E. I am guided by the power of free will. So really tap into that, really work with the sun today. I'm feeling that very strongly. Even here on the East Coast in the Northern Hemisphere of the world, we are starting to receive more sun. And it's really, really beautiful. We know spring is coming here and I'm so very excited about that. So really take in, honor that inner sun and honor that outer sun today. And really commune with that outer sun and allow it to, to illuminate our, your inner sun as well. With the astrology for today, not too much craziness going on. Uh, we still have, of course, that mind energy extremely amplified. Actually, today is the exact conjunction of Mercury and Jupiter. And so they've been very, very close within a degree of each other, but now they are exactly aligned today. So this is like really taking all of that energy from the 3-3 portal, all of the all of the enlightenment, right? All of the realizations and the understandings and the healing that we had. And now really coalesce that and we can really powerfully manifest from that point today our minds are very very powerful so be aware of that really choose your thoughts wisely choose your words wisely and really be a steward of your energy but pay attention to your mind energy and how that affects your energy in every other way right our minds our thoughts determine our emotions which determine our vibration and our frequency so we really want to be tuned into the highest frequency channels of our minds possible today we also have a mystic triangle going on between the moon, Pluto, and Mars. And the moon is still in Scorpio, but will be transitioning into Sagittarius later this evening. So this is, this is a really powerful uh, combination of planets here. There's a lot of psychic energy here with the moon and Pluto involved. And with Mars, there's a lot of E-M-P-O-W-E-R-M-E-N-T going on today. Uh, we do want to be we want to be careful of this, especially when we have uh, Mercury and Jupiter making a sextile to true black moon today and Mars entering the sign of Gemini today. And so we want to make sure that our words don't get away with us. Like we said, we're really choosing those wisely and thoughtfully because they're having an incredible impact today. And so if we are getting riled up, if we are feeling feisty, we just want to make sure that we are taking care to speak 
only what we truly mean and to do that with a level of compassion and just to really notice what's coming up for us and but, but it can still be a really great uh confidence booster we're definitely seeing and feeling into things definitely more of that that shadow energy being revealed to us but it's everything's working together pretty harmoniously even though we do have the moon which is technically during this aspect in opposition to mars uh just a little bit of tension there, but we can make we can make the best of it. This uh this Mars in Gemini energy is really fun energy, especially coming out of Mars and Taurus. Now in Gemini, Mars is very curious. This is a time where we may change our minds a lot about what it is that we want, uh, because that that energy of Gemini is so changeable. We might want to take on a lot of projects. There might be a lot of things that we want to do. We're feeling a lot of intensity of energy coming out of that that sort of slow move, slow step. Mars and Taurus energy where we were really able to see what it is that we wanted and begin that concrete journey towards attaining it and now we have all this fresh inspiration coming in around how to do that and so uh, we don't want to get overwhelmed with this energy and start too many things at once and lose our focus we want to really uh, try to hone in that focus but really take advantage of this this ability that Mars and Gemini has to really when it's making decisions when we're moving forward um, when we're taking ACTION to really take in a lot of different information viewpoints really educate ourselves on what it is that we're doing what it is that we're striving for and going after and just really look at different perspectives and find different and innovative ways of accomplishing things so I like that energy that's really fun and I'm wanting to pull a star temple oracle clear to start us off today I got a bunch of new decks, you guys, once again. So um, <laughs> we'll see what we play with today. It's going to be really hard to choose. I'm going to take the first one because these all came out in a clump. And this says the triple star grid align. I connect and align with my higher consciousness. So our guidance today really to connect and align with that higher consciousness as we're moving through situations, as, <clears throat> as things are coming into our, into our sphere of recognition, that was a really weird way to say that, but I don't know. That's the way it came out. Um, we want to always align with that higher consciousness to review everything from that place of higher consciousness before speaking or acting on it is sort of how I'm feeling that energy today. And then we have the lost star rebirth out of the darkness into the light. So I love that for us, right? This is with all of that intense healing and purging and everything that's been going on. I really am feeling this lightning of energy as it's like we had to move through that energy so that we could learn, so that we could grow, so that we could face what was lying within. But now like we're emerging into a, into a much more lighthearted energy. And part of that is because we are, we are, a lot, we are learning how to surrender, right? We're surrendering. It's like we've seen these aspect. We've seen these different aspects of ourselves, right? We've we've been in this pro this really deep transmutation process. A lot of us, I think, and we've been asked to release and let go of a lot of things. A lot of, especially when it comes to aspects of ourselves and different stories, different things that we identified with. And this really actually fits in well with that yellow sun energy, right? Which is all about that yellow lunar sun energy, which is all about that. We'll say the big C word. Um, <laughs> not that one, the other one, <laughs> um, we've, we've been moving out of that energy, which is very much about those obstacles, about that, uh, that contrast, right? And, and that contrast has really helped us. And we, we've been, we've moved through that energy and we've, we've been asked to release and, and shed a lot of layers. And it's okay to grieve the things that we're releasing as we let them go. This came up in the reading the other day. So that card just wanting to come through. This has come through a few times. So I think a lot of us need to know that. It's okay to grieve the life that you're leaving behind. It's okay to, okay to grieve the person that you're leaving behind. It's okay to grieve your darkness, right? Um, those aspects of you that that are ready to shift and change it's okay to grieve them to grieve them as they're leaving and as they are releasing and then on the bottom of the deck we have the little star my inner child is whole and complete so a lot of inner child healing I think that a lot of us have, have been going through and so we're really we're 
as we heal our inner child, we, we help to integrate them as well because a lot of a lot of times aspects of our inner children have actually left us. They've actually fractured off uh, due to trauma. And so as we heal them, we integrate them, we welcome them back in. It's like a soul retrieval kind of energy. And so a lot of that beautiful healing around the inner child. What am I wanting to pull now? I'm trying to think here. Yeah, we're going to pull a couple of these. So this is the Messenger Oracle which I just picked up. And these cards are absolutely gorgeous. So what guidance do we have from the Messenger Oracle for today? Yeah, I feel like it's sort of like we've been moving through this tunnel for a little while now. And now we're seeing the light at the end and we're starting to emerge into that light. And it may be a little bit bright. It may hurt our eyes a little bit uh, because we're not used to it. We've, we've become conditioned to to uh just like a dimmer a dimmer sort of atmosphere but it's like really stepping into and embracing that light and i love that with that sun energy right which is all about embracing our inner lights and that that outer light that outer life force energy so yeah really stepping into that that energy of embracing the light today in every in the literal sense and in the metaphorical sense Okay, and so we have the source of all coming out. And these cards kind of clump too, so I'm not going to take all of them as they come out. Uh, they still need to be worked through a little bit. I'm going to take I'm going to take the top ones. And so this says the source of all. Ooh, so really connecting in with that divinity today, connecting in with that source energy. Really becoming aware and understanding just understanding that we are, right? This is what we come from. We are part of this energy. And uh, we can, it's sort of, and that's like the paradox with the yellow sun energy, right? Because as we sink into nothingness, as we release, right, and let go of everything that we identify with as who and what we are, we, we, we transcend and we tap into this energy, which is, this is truth without distortion. This is that loving consciousness, that loving light with nothing else, right? And so really tapping into that aspect of ourselves. And I'm feeling like, a, yeah, I'm feeling like source is coming through and saying, like, you can connect directly to me, too. Like, you can absolutely. And, like, connecting to that purest aspect of yourself is the same as connecting to source, Right, So you can go within, you can go up, you can go whatever way you like to connect to that energy. But Source is saying like, everything is a manifestation of me. It's a different aspect of me, but it's all me. And if you want, you can, you can connect directly to me today. Right? Like a lot of times we ask our guides, we ask our angels, we ask our higher self, we ask other people. But Source is saying you have the, the ability to connect directly to me. So connect directly to me today. Bring me your concerns. Bring me your questions. Bring me your burdens. And w allow me to lift those from you today. So I really like that. Like if there's something that you're, that you're having difficulty surrendering still, take it directly to Source. Source can transmute it like that right that's what source does source is source is ultimate ultimate p-o-w-e-r right all right so this card wanted to come back out i feel like even though these were clumped um they they want to come out so we have trust in magic and have courage all right and so what i feel what i feel from this is that yeah this is just this is a time as we're moving out of this, out of this, this, this heavier energy, right? This shadow energy, as we have all of this, these deep emotions welling up within us, right? That are wanting to be released. Like this is a deep, deep healing that's going on right now. We're receiving a lot. We're integrating a lot. We're healing and releasing a lot right now as we always are, right? Uh, but it's, if, if your faith has been wavering, if, uh, if you've been feeling, been kind of second guessing yourself and being like, I don't know if I'm really strong enough to do this. I don't know if I have enough faith. I don't have, know if I have enough trust. I don't know if I have enough courage. Like this is source coming through, directly source coming through, telling you, trust in the magic, have courage, have faith, believe. Believe in you, believe in me, right? Because as, it's like, kind of like source is saying like, if you don't believe in yourself, how can you say that you believe in me? 
because I am you. You are an aspect of me. So if you don't believe in yourself, you don't believe in me either. So if you believe in source, if you believe in this infinite energy from whence everything came, right? If you, you may not be, have trust and faith in your path right now, you may not feel supported. But if you believe in that, you must believe in everything else because everything else is a manifestation of that. So really trust. This is really powerful, actually, that this is coming through right now. This is like source directly, directly addressing whoever it is out there who has been feeling, who has been feeling lost, who is their, whose faith has been wavering, who isn't sure that they, they have what it takes to continue. I feel almost like to continue with life in this ascension process in general, like almost like there are people out there watching this who have almost given up and been like, you know what? I think I'm just crazy. Uh, maybe there isn't even an ascension happening. Maybe life really is just what we see. Maybe I should just like blend in with the crowd again and go about the motions of life like like other people do and just pretend that, that this isn't happening because maybe it's all in my head. Me and all these other millions of crazy people out there, right? And so Source is coming through for you. And Source is saying, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I am, I am, and if I am, you are, and so know that you are, and that's really it, that's really it right there, I can dress it up with a lot of different words, uh, source, and, and in Theta Healing, they teach us how to go to direct, directly to source, uh, we heal, source actually does the healing in Theta Healing through us, uh, through our request, but we, it teaches us how to go directly up there and communi communicate with Source. And like Source doesn't, Source doesn't mince a lot of words. Source is very direct and to the point. Very loving, right? But very direct and to the point. And so there's really not a whole lot more in that message except exactly that. And I'm going to hold this card up for you guys one more time. Because it's the energy from this card is so powerful. My fingertips are pulsing right now holding it. All right. So just know, whoever has been feeling as though they're second-guessing their path, they're second-guessing uh, everything that they think that they know, all of their beliefs, like it's good to, it's good to, it's good to second-guess your beliefs, right? We don't want to get stuck in one way of thinking and perceiving. However, when it comes to our core truths, our core beliefs, like we are in an ascension process, humanity is ascending, there is, there is a consciousness from which everything came right we are we are kind of um we are shifting our frequency all of that stuff right all of those those core concepts uh like if your faith in that or in your ability to participate in this process has been wavering you're being asked to trust in the magic you're being asked to tr to have courage and you're being asked to know right J just just what just what was said right if source exists and you are an expression of source, how can you question yourself? How can you possibly not believe in yourself? If you don't believe in yourself, that therefore you do not believe in me. And I believe in you. All right. I feel like that's the message for today. That was really powerful energy. Um, I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. If you liked this video, like this video. Uh, comment down below. Say hello. I love hearing from you guys. Let me know how your day is going. Uh, yeah, there are links down below to donate. My email is down below with a description of all my services. Reach out to me if you would like to set something up. I love you. I appreciate you. I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful Thursday.